Greetings, Nick with Sweetwater here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Heavy Menace pedal, a high gain stomp box from our Canadian chums at Empress FX. We've just heard it deliver the goods on some chugging riffage. Let's quickly check out the Menace on some lead work too, shall we? I'd say that was pretty darn menacing. Anyway, I know what you're probably thinking. With several hundred dirt delivering devices already available, new ones arriving seemingly every other day, does the world really need yet another distortion pedal? And the answer, my friend, is this. Yes, absolutely yes. Especially when it's called the heavy menace. <laughs> As both this pedal's name and its devilishly cool graphics unapologetically proclaim, the Heavy Menace is a high gain affair aimed at guitarists with a penchant for hard rock of the heavy metal variety. In fact, as Empress state in the handbook, it's a streamlined evolution of their excellent heavy pedal, this two channel bruiser right here, this one. Now, if you're not familiar with this aptly named Brutal Stomp Box, there's a link to a video about it in the text below. And as you can probably see very clearly, the Heavy Menace has a much smaller footprint, but rest assured, it still packs a mighty punch and is extremely flexible too. It's eight controls, three channels, and built-in adjustable and switchable noise gate switches ensure that. <laughs> That wasn't even close to the late great dime, but what a great riff and what a good sound from this pedal. The pedal's trio of channels or modes selected via a three-way mini toggle switch which sits below the high control. Said three channels are as follows in ascending gain order. Light, ish, heavy, and heavier. Let's quickly check these three channels out, shall we? First though, just so you know, I'm using the clean channel of this fine Blackstar St. James 50 watt 6L6 head and matching 2x12 vertical cabinet. Here's what it sounds like with the heavy pedal off. <laughs> As you've already heard, the Heavy Menace is definitely delivering all of the dirt. That said, here's the aptly named Lightish Channel with the gain set at around nine o'clock. And here's the light channel again with the settings exactly the same, except this time the gain set at about three o'clock. Next up is the heavy mode with gain at nine o'clock. And now here's the same exact channel again. Yep, the heavy channel, but this time with gain set at three o'clock. Is 
that channel evil? Yes, it is, my friend. Anyway, let's go over to the heavier setting, number three. Once again, first with the gain set at nine o'clock. <laughs> And finally, the heavier setting again, but this time with gain at three o'clock. was a little sloppy, but I think you get the picture. This pedal rocks it hard. Yes, sir, as you've just witnessed, the Heavy Menace can clearly go from crunch to crush and all points in between. Let's quickly check out the pedal's controls and features, shall we? The top three controls are, from left to right, gain, weight, and output. The outer pair, namely gain and output, are pretty darn self-explanatory. What weight does is change the character of your low end. The further you crank the weight control clockwise, the thicker and more girthy your sound becomes. Yes, my friend, as its name suggests, turning this control up adds weight to your sound. And when you turn it counterclockwise, it creates a tighter tone that's perfect for palm muting purposes. Let's quickly check it out, shall we? Here's a riff with the weight control set at three o'clock, namely a pretty fat sound. <laughs> Yep, that definitely had some heft. It was satisfyingly sludgy. It definitely had some weight. Now, here's the same exact riff, allegedly, but this time with the weight control set at nine o'clock, with the other controls left untouched. <laughs> Yep, that was tighter, a lot tighter in fact. As my Swedish pal Mr. England would invariably say, this pedal chugs. Anyway, back to the controls. The next row of three controls are the usual suspect tone knobs, namely low, mid, and high. And they're all active, which means they can boost as well as cut. To be more precise, they can each cut or boost by as much as 15 dBs. And that's a lot, so don't overdo it. Use your ears, my friend, not your eyes. Obviously, as you'd hope and expect, the 12 o'clock setting on each is zero dBs, namely flat, if you will. To this end, each of the three tone controls has a very satisfying notch you can literally feel in your fingers when you hit that zero dB mark, namely 12 o'clock. <laughs> Just so you're aware, the active controls for both high and low are shelf filters. <laughs> to add further to your tonal control, right below the active mid control, there's a smaller knob labeled mid frequency. This works in conjunction with the mid control above it by selecting the mid frequency of the mid range EQ. Make sense? To be exact, this control goes from 200 hertz all the way up to 2.5K. And obviously by doing that, it goes to all points in between. This pair of controls in conjunction with the high, low and weight knobs obviously offer you a veritable plethora of tonal tweaking options and pleasure. <laughs> far we've gone over seven controls, which leaves us with just one more to cover, because eight minus seven equals one. Brilliant, huh? It's simply brilliant. Anyway, that last one is a mini control that sits directly under the low knob. This one adjusts the threshold for the Heavy Menace's built-in foot switchable noise gate, just like its gate thresh label suggests. Imagine that. 
When activated via the gate foot switch, which sits at the bottom left of the pedal, the gate is triggered as soon as your guitar signal hits the pedal. Due to its adaptive circuit, this gate responds exactly to your playing, lets sustaining notes decay naturally, while clamping down quickly and hard on staccato notes or chords. And when the gate is switched on, the LED above its foot switch glows either orange or green. Why two colors do I hear you ask? Well, orange is for when the gate is closed, and green is for when it's opened. That's why, perfect. Let's check it out, shall we? <laughs> Yep, as you've just heard, this gate definitely works really well on an abrupt stop. Now let's check it out on a sustained note, shall we? Yeah, I'd say that works. In fact, it works really, really well. The fact this gate is foot switchable is a definite plus two in my humble opinion. Anyway, that just leaves us with one more top panel feature to cover and it's the obvious bypass switch at the bottom right of the pedal. This one, wait for it, switches the pedal on and off. And when the pedal is on, the LED above the switch glows red. So you can see if it's on or off on even a dark stage. <laughs> The Heavy Menace doesn't run off a battery, so it needs a nine volt power supply to operate, just like this one right here. It also has three neat extra features that I'll very quickly run you through. First off, when it comes right out of the box, the Menace is set to true bypass. If, however, you prefer the bypass to be buffered, you can easily make that happen, and it's all explained in the handy dandy manual the pedal comes with, this one right here. And if you like, you can also set the pedal up so you can use its noise gate without the distortion being activated. Very cool. Once again, it's a very simple toggling process that's explained very well in this little manual right here that will be in the box. And talking of the gate, this pedal also has a gate key input. This is really useful if you happen to be using other pedals before the Heavy Menace that may change the level of your guitar signal when they're switched on. This simple but effective process involves splitting the signal before said pedals, so a clean, consistent signal is sent to the Menace at all times. Once again, this is all clearly explained in this wonderful handy dandy manual right here. <laughs> And there you have it, my friend, the Heavy Menace pedal from Empress Effects. A great sounding, great feeling, highly flexible and easy to use pedal for all forms of rock, from classic to extreme metal and all points in between. It can also be made to sound as beautiful or as brutal as you want it to be, from Santana to Slayer, if you will. <laughs> Hear what I mean? Oh, the guitar I'm abusing, by the way, is an Epiphone Matt Heafy Signature Les Paul Custom Origins. If you dig it, there's a link in the description below. For more information on this fine, fire-breathing, dirt-delivering device from Empress Effects, please go to sweetwater.com, or better still, call your oh-so-friendly Sweetwater sales engineer. Oh, and by the way, did I mention in my opinion the graphics on the Heavy Menace pedal are extremely, extremely cool, by the way? The obvious stated once again, I guess I'm out of here. So, until the next time I see you again, stay dirty, my friend. Stay dirty. <laughs>Thank you so very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment nicely, please, because I'm really sensitive, and also subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, and please go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs. 
He is wishing you and yours a simply splendid day. Thank you again so very much for watching. Goodbye.